Here are three exercises to help with early or rapid ejaculation. These pelvic muscle exercises will help you regain control and sexual function when you want it the most. To begin, it's really important to gain awareness of your pelvic floor muscles. Here's a model of the pelvis. On the bottom, these are your sits bones. Those are the bony parts of the butt that you sit on. If you were to lie on your back and looked at the in between of the bony parts of the butt that you sit on, you will notice a set of muscles. These muscles aid in sexual appreciation, sphincteric control, support, stability, and act as a sump pump. They squeeze and release to help with ejaculation and expelling urine. So for rapid ejaculation or early ejaculation, since this muscle, these muscles are intimately connected with the base of your penis, they can also aid in maintaining, sustaining, and helping to control um, ejaculation, okay? So gaining awareness of where these muscles are and how they function. So just to get oriented, go ahead and gently squeeze around the base of your penis as if you were drawing your penis inward and let it go. If it's helpful, you can also put your hand in the area between the base of the penis and the scrotum so that you can feel these muscles activating and engaging. The important key here is to release after your squeeze. It's all about coordination. It's not always about the squeeze. It's how the squeeze and the release works together in conjunction to gain better coordination and muscle control. Another thing to note here is that the nerves that innervate your penis also live in this area. And so when you do squeeze and release and purposefully and intentionally work your pelvic muscles, know that you are also communicating with your nervous system and your nervous system is the gatekeeper of erections, orgasm, and your experience of sensory stimulation in your most private areas. So that being said, here are my three favorite exercises to work on as far in, in regards to pelvic awareness, muscle training, and also slowing down, particularly when we're most concerned about being able to control pleasure at, peak, at our maximum peak moment and controlling ejaculation. So the first one is 5, 10, 15, 20. You'll begin by gently squeezing around the base of the penis. Breathe naturally, slow, steady, and smooth in your body while maintaining a 50 to 75% contraction or engagement of the pelvic muscles around the base of your penis for five seconds. Let it go. Breathe deeply and naturally again, using your breath to control the rhythm. Squeeze again, hold for 10 seconds. Good, let it go. Again, maintaining a natural breathing rhythm while you're engaging with your pelvic muscles. Squeeze again, 15 second hold. Good, release. And lastly, 20 seconds, but again, give yourself a rest break in between these activities. Remember, it's important to be aware of the squeeze, but also be aware of the release. And when you're ready, squeeze for 20 seconds. Go for it. And 
and release. Great, I, hold, I hope that you were not holding your breath that entire time. Please remember to maintain a natural breathing rhythm. The, the rate of your, your respiratory rate is actually important to help to slow down the autonomic nervous system that is in charge of flipping the switch from erection to ejaculation. The second exercise to try is actually moving to and from child's pose, but with a intentional engagement of contracting your pelvic floor muscles on the exhale. So what does that look like? We'll begin on our hands and knees. Okay, bring your knees apart comfortably. Take a nice deep breath in, allowing the belly to relax and the penis and the scrotum to gently hang. As you exhale, gently bring your hips, your buttocks close to your heels. Inhale, come back to the center. Now to add in a pelvic contraction. So inhale, release, relax all the tension from your body. Exhale, squeeze around the base of your penis. Come back to child's pose. Inhale, release. Squeeze, exhale, come back. Inhale, release. And you can do that for several repetitions. Again, getting a greater awareness of uh, movement and breath. And really it's about body awareness and recognizing the sensations of your body when you're engaging your pelvic muscles so that you're more aware when you are participating in sexual intimacy to um, apply strategies in order to slow down just a little bit, especially if you're not ready to ejaculate. And then the third exercise is cat-cow. Again, using your body spinal movements and breath in conjunction with intentional pelvic floor muscle contraction to help improve um, your endurance and um, muscle coordination and function. So hands and knees, press your palms gently into the earth, inhale, arch your back, gently look up towards the ceiling or keep your head parallel to um, looking to the horizon. Exhale, gently press your palms down, curl your back into a C, allow your head and tailbone to energetically meet. And at the same time, you'll be squeezing around the base of your penis. Inhale, release. Arch your back, look up or to the horizon. Exhale, head and tailbone energetically meet and you're squeezing around the base of the penis. Inhale. Release, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Again, working with that for several repetitions um, to really feel each vertebrae uh, move, your pelvis moving on your lower back, your pelvis and your hips articulating, and then at the same time feeling again the squeeze and the release, the control that you have with your breath, with your movement, and your pelvic muscle contractions. So noticing and becoming more aware of these sensations will really help to optimize and regulate the balance between um, the nervous system as it relates to the ejaculatory reflex. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, please visit my website at drsuzyg.com.